everyone, I'm Ashley. So I'm gonna show you today how to properly brush and floss your teeth. So first you wanna take your toothbrush. Brushing and flossing either or, brushing first, flossing first, it doesn't matter. Get that question a lot. So first things first, when you're opening your mouth, you wanna put your toothbrush in and soft circular motions, okay? You wanna go right along the gum and the tooth at the same time, all right? So nice soft circular motions in the back. And then when you get to the front, it's really important, you wanna take your toothbrush like this and turn it up like that. So that way you can get that really nice angle on the front, all right? So that's the really quick version on how to brush your teeth. Now flossing takes a little bit more technique, okay? So you wanna take the floss, okay? About this long, it doesn't have to be too much longer than that. You wanna wrap it around your fingers, okay? Make a nice little piece like that. So it's important to remember that when you have your teeth your teeth are touching like this, and you have a nice little triangular shape in between, that's your gum tissue. So you want to imagine disrupting bacteria from one side of the tooth and then down the other side of the tooth. So you're going to take your floss, wrap it around your finger, and you're going to create like a little nice C shape. So when you go between one tooth, you're going to go down one side down that triangle, and you're going to go down the other side of the triangle. So you want to disrupt that bacteria from this side versus that side. A lot of people like to take it, break that contact, so that little snap you hear, and they kind of seesaw and wiggle it around. It's not really gonna be very effective for you. So you wanna take it, put it down that one side, wrap it around like a seat, down the one side there, and down the other side there. Take it out and continue the process. Keep in mind that you wanna move the floss a little bit in between each tooth, so if you get anything out, you're not really disrupting it and putting it into another tooth. Plain and simple, any questions, let me know.